hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're learning how to make a placket okay so um i have done several tutorials on how to um, cut and sew booboo okay both booboos that the sleeves are attached and the ones that are cut together okay so but i'll be showing us how to cut and sew or attach a placket i'll drop the previous tutorial in the, in the description box okay on how to make the booboo okay so to make the placket you need to cut out a piece okay so for more clarity i use a different um print okay so this is the front of my booboo here okay this is the front piece and we are sewing the placket on the wrong side of the fabric so this is the wrong side of the fabric okay and i did 3.5 inch by 3.5 inch for the neck width and the neck depth okay so this is the wrong side of my fabric here right you can see the chalk so usually you chalk on the wrong side of the fabric and then you use your iron to like create a fold this helps you to identify the center of your um top so don't forget this is the um front piece now to make the placket you need to cut out um a piece the length of the piece um i want to work with is eight inches i think i have a little excess i'll just trim off the um excess on the piece there i want to work with it okay so um i'm just cutting out the excess okay now um this is the fabric i want to use for my placket here so it's um, eight inches by six inches okay then you also need to iron and add interfacing to the fabric so i added um, paper stay to mine then once you fold it you know that folds automatically serves as the center of the fabric then you're going to measure down six inches from the top there and mark it okay or let's say five um 5.5 inch right so um i've marked it then you're going to mark half inch away from the center you can see so you can see that i use my biro to draw the lines if you use chalk the chalk might you know take more space in terms of measurements okay so i'm placing the right side of the, of the fabric on the wrong side of the dress okay i hope you got that so i'm pinning the right side of the fabric we're using for the plaquettes to the wrong side of the main dress so you have to pin this so that uh, you know it's not shifting here and there and um, just make sure that the placket is on the center right so i'll go ahead and make a stitch around the marking i just made so you can see that i'm just sewing it there okay so as a general rule irrespective of your level of experience you should always work with pins you know it reduces your errors to the like most minimal level like almost no error okay so always work with pins you know it's reduce you know it saves a lot of stress of using seam ripper and all okay so uh, i'm done sewing now i'm going to cut through the middle line there i'll cut through you have to be very careful don't cut through the same after the 5.5 inch mark okay then you need to create notches at the edges there at the corners so that by the time you want to flip over um the fabric to the right side it's going to be easy you won't have you won't have folds here and there okay so the notch at the corners are very important so now i'm taking off my pins and then I'm going to flip over the fabric to the right side now okay so this is it okay, so um, I'm flipping over like so and then this is now the right side of my fabric so even without ironing you can see that you know the placket is already coming out you know there's no um, you know any fold here and there so I'll take this to the ironing table and iron with half half inch seam allowance okay so let me do that and show us okay so here it is so on each side of the placket i've ironed half inch seam allowance inward this is it here okay and then same thing i've ironed okay so i'll place it on you know that seam there 
then same thing for the other side here I, I don't have any seam allowance then I'm gonna place it on uh, the seam over there okay it's a very simple exercise the only thing is you need to iron and your sewing has to be very super neat so I'm just sewing you know at the very edge of my placket the edge that's like less than um, one eighth of an inch you can see that I'm sewing at the very edge so you're gonna sew up to the point where we notched the um, plackets you know th those corners so you know if you followed all my instructions that should be about the 5.5 inch mark we marked at the beginning okay so um, having done that I'll go ahead to you know sew the second side there so you're sewing on the seam allowance so you fold in your half inch with your, your pressing iron like I did and you place it on the seam you see that on the seam so um, I'll just go ahead now and sew you know at the very edge of the plackets so that's less than one eighth of an inch so like I said this thing requires constant practice your hand must be straight while sewing and you need to press you need to iron that's what makes makes you know the placket comes out very neat and um, clean so i'll just continue sewing and i'll stop at that um the corner where we notched or the 5.5 inch mark okay so i'll just trim this off all right we're getting there gradually okay so this is it so the um you're supposed to lie on top of each other so it's either you place it you know um right to left or left to right whichever one you want to pick so i'll just pick um left to right okay but you can see that um if we were to fold um this that's the remaining part of the fabric it will be too bulky to be too bulky so we need to reduce this so i'm gonna trim off the lower parts okay and i'll just leave the upper part so that because we're still going to be folding it and then it doesn't make your you know your sewing too bulky and then you're struggling to you know sew it down so can you see what i've done i have separated the upper part from the lower part and i'm trimming off the lower part like this so this way you know it's not appearing bulky you know so now i'll just fold in my um, remaining part of the fabric okay and then I would stitch you know like that up to the 5.5 inch mark I can even go up a bit probably by half an inch okay it's a seriously it's very simple it's simple just make sure your sewing is neat don't rush and press you can see that I'm emphasizing on the pressing if you don't press it will come out very you know very bad so I'm just you know stitching it down so this way for the placket you can add press buttons you can add cover buttons you know any kind of button you can even add decorative buttons okay so i'm just you know i'm just trying to complete the sewing there and we are almost done so like i said you have to do this carefully gently don't rush nobody will give you price for you know finishing it in two minutes it doesn't matter what's important is the accuracy and precision okay especially if you're into ready to wear and mind you it's a detail on the dress so it has to be neat so i'm just completing like this um the sewing so it's in form of a rectangle now i mean the sewing right so that's it that's it so as it is you just add buttons to um the placket probably um one or two buttons so very importantly you should add interfacing to the placket it gives it um stability and then for the neckline i just did um i did um binding i cut the fabric on buyers and uh, this is the bind the neckline but basically this is what we're learning to do the placket so you can you know add this placket to your sleeve maybe sleeves that have cuff your skirt your trouser anything okay so i hope this tutorial was helpful kindly give it a thumbs up 
leave your comment and reaction and do not forget to share thank you so much for watching bye